Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we will speak about one more more uh, issue. Actually, we spoke about it before. However, I saw this video today uh, speaking about uh, a Muslim Saudi cleric says the sun rotates around the earth. However, in this video here, you know what is funny about it is not what the Muslim cleric saying, as much it is uh, the the two hosts in the in the program. This is called Lib TV. Uh, you know, when, when some uh, liberals, they try to play smart, at the same time they want to play safe because they learn that if we speak against Islam, we might, we might get hurt. So they want to play it in a safe way. And always, in order to do that, they speak against Islam, but they don't say they are talking against Islam. Same time, same time they, they say this guy is funny, but they will not say Islam is funny. They will say this cleric is wrong, but they will not say this is the teaching of Islam. However, in the same time, they have to attack Christianity to cover up that this is not about Islam. This is why I say there is two idiots in this program, not only uh, the Muslim cleric, which will make them three. Uh, now, I will play the video of this guy, but before I do that, I want to go to, uh, to the comment of the video. Just to show you here how Muslims try to defend. Abu Yusuf, he said in here, he's a Muslim, that this is his own opinion, which means the cleric opinion, his own view, his own theory. So according to this Muslim, this is a theory of one Muslim have nothing to do with the teaching of Islam. Someone, they say, uh, look in here, this guy, he's not a Muslim, he's saying, I bet also denies climate change from the ideological uh, standpoint the Tea Party, Taliban, share many, same, same. You see, this is a stupidity. What does this have to do with the Tea Party and even, uh, what, what are you talking about? Uh, climate change, even scientists, not all of them agree about it. However, this is not based in religion. This is based in private opinion. When somebody here says that this guy is making his statement based in the private opinion, he is just deceiving others because we will show you and prove to you that this is not what happened. This guy actually he is defending Muhammad because this is the opinion and the teaching of Islam and the founder of Islam. Seeking to unwind 500 years of scientific thinking. إذا خرجنا من مطار الشارقة برحلة دولية إلى الصين الأرض تدور صح؟ طيب لو وقفت الطائرة في السماء أليست الصين تأتي؟ صح ولا لا؟ تدور تأتي الصين ولا ما تأتي؟ طيب لو كانت الشمس الأرض تدور هكذا لو تمشي الطيارة ما أدري كم تمشي لن تستطيع أن تلحق الصين لأن الصين تدور وأنت تدور ولن تستطيع أن تصل إلى الصين لأنك تدور وهي تدور فكيف تصل إلى الصين؟ So this cleric is called Sheikh Al Kabari. He also, Mark, just before you say anything, he also rejected NASA's lunar excursion. If he's rejecting the rotation of the, the, the Earth uh, and the sun, say, he says the sun rotated around the Earth, you know, who cares about what NASA says now? You are being funny. However, you will see the other guy, he tried to defend Islam, and this guy, even himself, he defended Islam. So they are speaking about this funny cleric but they don't have the guts to say this is the teaching of Islam. And not only that, actually, they cannot even speak against this guy without attacking Christians. I don't know why. Not unlike a lot of, a lot of, of skeptics, Americans and Christian fundamentalists. But what, 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 we have, what, what this have to do with the Christians? You know, ISIS, they do be hidden. Obama mentioned Christians. Those people, they say stupid things. They mention Christians. What's wrong with you guys? Like, do the Christian book says the earth uh, doesn't rotate around itself? Does the Christian says the sun goes around the earth? Actually, the Bible says things which is amazing. Uh, your scientists, they just discover when the Bible mentioned it thousands of years ago. If we go to the book of Job, you will see that before anyone ever think about it, the Bible says that God he stretched the north over the empty space. He hangs the earth on nothing. You know, uh, imagine you say to someone that the earth is hanged on nothing. That alone will be crazy 
to say to someone 2,000 years ago? Because what do you, mean? you just said the word hangs, and now you are saying on nothing, because simply it's empty space. So it's hanged, it's true, but on nothing. It's a flying in the space. So what does this have to do with the Christians? What are you talking about? Does the Christian say the earth is flat, as Islam teach? Absolutely false. The first book ever who mentioned that the earth is a circle is the Bible. This is why, you know, I love when Muslims, they lie, says that Galileo was killed for saying the earth is a flat, sorry, the earth is a circle, and the, the one who killed him is a church. Simply, Galileo was not killed for saying that, Galileo was killed for making revolution against the Pope. Because simply, nobody can take him to court at that time for saying something state in the Bible itself, for something the Bible agree with it, as you see in the front of your eyes. Imagine I say, uh, I'm going to read for you Isaiah 40:22, and then somebody will say to me, oh, you are teaching against Christ, teaching, you are teaching against the Bible teaching. That would be very funny and very stupid to say. However, uh, is that really the teaching of this guy or this is the teaching of Islam? In the video this guy here, he says Islam teach, Islam is religion of science, so he don't understand why this guy is saying such a statement. They say the atmosphere is moving with the surface of the earth below it because there's friction. Remember friction? You continue to move with the surface of the earth, so there's no difference flying with the rotation of the earth or against it. Now, my question, what I don't understand, and why, I mean, it's really super easy to jump on this and go, oh, how ridiculous, and this is really stupid. And, uh, but So and just remember, he said he's ridiculous, this is the cleric, and he's a stupid. So he just agreed that whatever he will say that is a stupid, right? But he will not say that this is Islam teaching, this is the cleric only. He will not dare to say Muhammad is stupid. Those are a bunch of potatoes they are trying to make it as, this guy is funny, but it's not his religion. It is somewhat ludicrous, but my question is, why would he say this? I don't understand, because Islam is one of the, is the most science-friendly of any of the Islam religions. is the most science-friendly, more than any other religion. This is what is this liberal atheist he's saying. What do you think? Do you atheists agree with this potato? Or he's just being a hypocrite liar? because he don't want to get hurt by Muslims, so he attacked the cleric, but now he's not attacking Islam, he's pretending that Islam is a religion of science. I believe so. He's trying to be a hypocrite, so his TV will not get hurt, and uh, he will not end the same as Charlie magazine. Now let us prove that those two guys are a bunch of idiots, not the only the cleric that are making fun of him. Because when you say such a statement, it means you are a stupid idiot too, not only the cleric who say a stupid statement, and you call him stupid. However, I'm calling you stupid because I can prove it. If we go to the uh, hadith, and I'm not going to quote my own statements, I'm not going to say my own words, I'm going to go by what Muhammad said. The Prophet said, the Prophet said, and this is hadith number 421 in the book of 54 Sahih al-Bukhari. The Prophet asked Abu Dhar, one of the companions of Muhammad, do you know where the sun goes? And he asked this question at the time of the sunset, at the time of the sunset. I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said it goes, i.e. travel, till it prostrate itself under the throne, which means the throne of Allah, and take a permission to rise again. And it's permitted. And then a time will come, which means the judgment day, is going to do that. So the sun will keep doing this every day, go and uh, bow down under the throne of Allah from east to west. Read with me here, it says it clearly that the, the sun goes, IT trouble. So the one is moving, the one is, the, the, the question here is about what? It's about the sunset. And the question is, where the sun goes in the sunset? As you see here. So where the sun goes, it's the sun goes and prostrate. It's not the earth. It's not the earth is moving. The reason for sunset and sun rays, again, according to Muhammad, 
the sun itself goes from point A to point B. Point A is the east, point B is, uh, is the west, and it, that is where is the throne of Allah and the sun put a state there. So it is not the cleric making his own statement, and Islam is not a religion, a religion of, of science as you claim, you idiot, because this guy is just saying what his prophet said. If we continue and go to different hadith to explain why Muhammad you think this way, because simply even the Quran says that. You see the Muslims, they made videos in YouTube saying that the earth is in the shape of the egg, which is absolutely a lie. The Quran never said such a thing. The Quran says the opposite. Let us show you. Chapter 79, verse number 30, and the, and the ground will ardu ba'da dharika, the haha. The Muslim they say the word the ha mean the shape of the egg, which is absolute lie because it's it's the opposite. It says he spread out or make it flat. Actually, the most accurate one is to make it flat. This is why if you change the interpretation of Muslims, all of them they agree it's about spreading the earth out and making it flat. So where the Muslim they got with the word shape from the egg, the egg shape? It's a lie. The dictionary says this is how the Muslims how funny they are. Uh, they could not find a, a, a solution for this problem, so they said, the dictionary says, speak about this word, saying it is uh, uh, the shape of the egg. The dictionary never said that. Never. Uh, some of the dictionary, dictionary describe it saying, it's flat the same as the nest of the ostrich, not the egg of the ostrich. If we go to the dictionary, and here we go, it's in front of me, as you see it, It says here that the word the haha, and you see even they are quoting the Quran, not any word, it's exactly the Quran. Basataha wa sa'aha, made it flat like a carpet, and he, he made it uh, wide. And just to prove my point more, and I don't do what Muslims do, if we go to the, the book of the Seer al Quran, uh, and this is the Islamic website, the Islamic Islam library that, that net. You will see here, it says the following. All the scholars of Islam agree that the word the haha mean he made it flat and nahu basataha. This is in, in, actually it is a verse in the Quran saying clearly that the earth is a flat. If you go to chapter 88, verse number 20, and this is the interpretation of a Jalain, and this is the Muslim transportation. It says in the earth how it was laid out flat. So there's many verses in the Quran, you know, concerning this issue, uh, uh, ensuring Muslim that the earth is a flat for sure. And the earth is not round. And the earth doesn't go around itself, and the sun goes around the earth. So it's not a private opinion. And when Muslims they say the earth have the shape of an egg, as they claim in many places in their many videos, it's absolute a lie, because simply those those scholars, all of them, you know, in, in this page, if I translate to you now the page, you will see in here you will see all the biggest scholars names is exist. Al Qurtubi, Al Qurtubi says the word haha mean make it flat or make it like a carpet, and he says wal Arabu taqul shay is basatahu, and the Arab they say. Uh, the, he made dhaha of something, it's mean he made it flat. Then Abu Hayyan, he say the same, he make it flat. And then uh, Arazi, he say the same, he make it flat. And Razi is a very famous uh, Muslim, Muslims they are so proud about him. Ibn Jarir, Ibn Kathir, all of them they say the same, make it flat. So why all of them they are saying something the Muslims today, they are trying to say something else? Because simply they are trying to cover mistakes in their book. They are ashamed of their book and their teaching. It's clear, exposed to Islam, so they have to come with a lie. This is Ibn Kathir saying it clearly. He's trying to make it look nicer. He says, it's spread out. But the fact it's not spread out. It is, make it flat. All right? Anyway, our time is up. I hope you guys you learned something. Please share your video. My coming book will be out in very few days. Uh, and the, the topic of the book is exposing the science of Islam or the scientific claim of Islam and the Quran. So it's going to be more than 75% of it uh, about that topic. Uh, so um, uh, I will announce to you soon when it's going to be out, uh, ready uh, to have in Amazon. Uh, for now, as a start, it's going to be in Kindle only. Thank you.